How are you doing today, ladies and gentlemen? And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and you enjoyed this video, then please don't be afraid of showing your support by subscribing to my channel and liking the video. Also, if you want to talk to me about anything, just write a comment down below. I promise you I will read it and I'll answer back. So today, I want to talk to you about how we can impress every single person that you meet, whether if it's a girl, your boss, your friend at work, or just some people in a casual meeting at a party. Now I'm going to break it down to around six tips that I think will benefit you the most. So I suggest you turn up the volume and let's get this thing started. So the number one tip, and actually if I'm being honest, it's probably the most important one of all in my opinion, is that you don't try to impress other people. Because if you do that, you can easily become a try harder. And believe me, that's not what you want to be taken for. Instead, you want to be what's called validated. And what I mean by that is that you don't need someone else to tell you that you're cool. You don't need some girl that gives you positive signals that she likes you for you to be cool, for you to feel more confident. Because true confidence is actually not needing the approval of other people. And so, if you're proactively trying to impress other people, believe me, you're not going to impress them. What you need to do instead is to be validated first by yourself. You need to tell yourself just how much effing cool of a person you are, no matter what that person thinks or what that girl says. So in conclusion, don't seek approval from other people. And as I said before, that's probably the most important thing that I want you to take from here. And to be honest, that's also probably the hardest thing too. Well, at least from our list today. And the rest, well, let's just say the rest are just bonuses. The second tip I want to give you is that you need to listen. And what I mean by listen is that, let's take this for instance. Like, I like to talk. Like, really like to talk. I like to tell stories. And jokes. Or at least try to tell some. And whenever I find the person that I'm talking with, listening to me the whole time, engaging in what I'm saying, asking questions in order to understand better what's been said, or just out of curiosity, that makes me feel so damn good. Because in reality, well, in our own reality at least, we are the most interesting person in our lives. The one that we talk about the most is us. The one that we want to talk about is us. But then when something like that happens, I'm instantly impressed. The truth is that most people don't listen too well, or enough. So whenever I find that one person who really listens and is interested in me, that's a big deal for me. So learn how to listen intently. Tip number three, have good answers to common questions. So the most common question you're going to get is, where are you from, where did you grow up, and what did you do? Those three questions are the questions that you're going to be asked more than any other question in your life. If I ask you a question like, where are you from, do you just go New York, London, LA, Israel, California? Is your answer just a single word? Then that's not good. That's not engaging. That's not going to impress anyone. That's honestly even kind of boring. You should always say something more. Give a narrative of where you grew up or where you live now and why you chose to move there. And when you get asked what you do, well, many people don't like what they do for a living. But instead, when you get asked that kind of question, you better also add some hobbies or passions that you have in your life. Because the reality is, nobody wants to be around someone who's boring, has no passions, hates their job. That's just simply boring. So what you need to do when it comes to those kind of questions, you've already thought about them. And that's not just like for women. It's also for your career or every other aspect of your life. People are going to ask you those questions. And if you have funny, engaging stories of where you grew up and a narrative, then people are going to be like, sucked in. Tip number four kind of ties into the points of two and three, which is to be present in the moment. Do you get annoyed when you're talking to someone and after going on for some time, you see him looking in different places like he's looking for something or someone? When it happens to me, I always call out those people and ask them if everything is okay and if they're listening to me or what actually is happening here because that's very disrespectful. So what I want to say to you is, be present, okay? Like if you're at a party and a cute girl just walks in, don't try to look at her immediately and try to get yourself as closely as you can to her space without you noticing her, especially while your friend is talking to you. That's actually kind of rude. You need to go when your friends stop talking and then if you think it's the right time, you can go to her. And you know what? While you're having a talk with your friend, try to have some fun and have a good laugh. 
regardless of who's around you. And believe me, if you're just having fun and doing you, she might just notice you and come to you, and not the other way around. Tip number five, laugh and be positive. Remember what I just said? Let me explain it a little more. The truth is, no one wants to be around someone who's really negative and always is like, oh, the world is so bad. There's no good in the world. Everything sucks. No one wants to be around these kind of people. So what you want to do is always bring positivity to the table and a good laugh. <laughs> Did you know, when you're able to have a good hard laugh that comes from your belly and people see it, they tend to get very impressed by you because they can see how positive you are, how good of energy you have, and that will make people want to be more around you. Even if you talk with your friend about something bad, when you deliver your point, try to add a little joke about it or try to put a spin on it to show that you have a more positive light. Your positivity should always be there. And tip number six, and the last tip that I have for you guys is to, well, I don't exactly know how to put this. I'm not telling you to be modest, even though I myself consider myself a modest person. But what I am telling you is you do not need to brag about who you are and what you've done. Instead, you should let your achievements and successes get to people naturally. Don't just throw it in their face. Like, if someone asked you what you do, you don't have to go like, oh, I've, I've started a multi-million dollar company and it's pretty amazing because now I'm able to travel the world and blah, 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 blah. No one wants to hear that. It's better if you just slowly let them uncover those little pieces of information about you by being curious about you, and only if they've asked enough questions. They will know those things about you, and believe me, when it happens like that, they will naturally go, wow, so you've done a lot. That is so interesting. And you're going to come across as a much more humbled and modest person, even though you've achieved a lot. Now, definitely don't get me wrong. I don't think you should bury your achievement of success and hide them from people. I think you should wear them as a badge of honor. But you also want to make sure that you let them come out organically in a conversation. So, those are my six tips for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you're going to start implementing these in your life. If you want to see more great videos like these, then you definitely know what to do. Subscribe to my channel, ring that bell button, and leave me a like and a comment down below. And with that being said, I hope that by now you are at least smarter by an inch. Until next time, have a great day.